welcome and welcome in. Welcome in. Twinsies. Oh, oh, if you're listening, you heard an echo <laughs> and that wasn't um, a sound issue. That's because we are on the couch with all five of us, all five sisters. Diva! Diva! Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Cheers, holidays. cheers, 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 cheers. Everyone cheers. Happy holidays. Yes, and it is, it. as we've said before, <laughs> it is the holiday season. And today we are recording on the Saturday after Thanksgiving because we celebrate, like we've told you before, uh, Thanksgiving and... On Friday. On Friday. <laughs> um, and... But the other thing that I wanted to say about that I realized in that episode about uh, when we mentioned happy holidays is where that actually originated oh, from. Yeah. That happy holidays, I think it was you randomly yeah. when we were, we were young. We were young because we had a answering machine. Yeah. Still. And no caller ID. Once Thanksgiving happened, that was the time then until little Christmas when we were Catholic. Yeah. Was happy holidays yeah you would when the, you answered the phone right the house the phone. phone would ring and you would pick it up one we also like kind of would fight to who would get to answer the phone not like fight to answer but you would rush to you it. rushed oh to it. God, we, did, we ran yeah. yes it was an exciting thing it was an exciting thing yeah and you'd answer it with happy holidays right and it was just funny that you didn't know if it was grandma grandpa calling or a salesperson or or someone's boss like yeah. i mean our parents you know like you had no idea yeah. who was on the line and we definitely didn't I, answer the call like children we answered it like we were yeah you know on the java Today show. industries our yeah first we're like business happy holidays <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly java industries that's like, what i knew what? i was gonna have a career in sales <laughs> oh my god you know or behind the camera or right front or the camera. printing company you know, yes, that's what we were. exactly um, it was i lived that dream you did. Yeah. You know? That's right, Kiki. <laughs> but why don't we, before we get too deep into too the zany? T- no, well, not even too zany, but before we get too into sailing into yesteryear, let's let's intro. Introduce if, ourselves. Why don't we do age order? I was going to say exactly age order. Jason. Age order. If you just give your name, I wasn't I'm not if ready. you could give your name, your nickname, and your age order. Okay, my name, Lindsay. My nickname. Liz. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Uh-huh. Jinx. <laughs> Maybe. And my what? What was that? And we'll both order your first. Yeah, we have one first. I'm number one. Number first one. First oldest one. daughter. Wait, okay. I would say we're not sitting in each order just because it was Lindsay that me. I was like, are we sitting in each order? No, we're definitely not. Um, you had to check. You had to look twice. I had to check. I had to look twice. <laughs> um, I am Morgan. And as you all know, I am. Oh, my nickname, Mo Morgie Morgs Morg. Never anything like outside of just shortening well, my actual mainly name. Mainly, I was asking for nickname because we refer to the sisters on the pod, and it's oh, not I always too, by their but birth name. I was name. also thinking, hey, we're among the whole group of us. Does anyone call me anything? Right. That's what I was thinking, guys. Crazy, um, crazy. <laughs> and then in your head, <laughs> rude. And then age order two. Like she's second. Yeah. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm number three. I will not be sharing my government name. However, <laughs> no, um, my name is actually Kathleen after our grandmother. Um, but I typically go by Kiki or Katie Beth or KB. And there's a bunch of others, but those are the main. And then I, I'm Stacy and I'm the fourth and nickname wise, I'm Stace or Stacy. And that's all I'm going to share. <laughs> <laughs> and now, that you have, now that I have nieces and There's nephews, I just want you to be mindful. No, because I don't want to nickname them. So I want you all to be mindful. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Shade. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mara, um, a.k.a. Mimi. And I am number five. They saved the best for last. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, some strong, some strong <laughs> opinions. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She did a tagline. Oh, we should have done taglines. We should have done taglines. Yeah. Wait. What would Wait, we be? Should we stop recording? No, restart. Yeah, do it live. Do it live. <laughs> do it live. You're on the spot. What's your tagline, Jinx? Oh, I need a minute. They Let me say think. I'm loud, but. I am. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> that was Morgan's, if you're listening. <laughs> My tagline would be, uh, I was always fighting for attention, but that's because everybody wanted to give it to me. <laughs> I, mean, I don't I really like that. That's, that's good. good. That's a good one. Okay. 
fourths are usually the most funny. So. Kiki, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Under pressure. Oh, my tagline. Um, it used to be, it's Kiki's world. You're just living in it. There it is. There it is, oh, Kiki. Okay. And it's That's still us, sweetie. Oh, mine. Mimi? Well, Mimi kind of gave I already did it. Last. Yeah, she started yeah, the tagline. Yeah, she started line. the taglines. Oh. Um, they should have stopped at one. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That's less like a tagline and more threatening. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go have a sit down. No, but I also <laughs> love to because that, I mean, if you're listening, you're probably like, we had to do the introductions and we'll try to remind as we're talking today, say like, oh, this is Stace or this is Morgan. Like we do when it's just Morgan and I, because people do say you all sound so much alike. So now today, I'm sure we'll hear that feedback. Again, so if you're not watching it and you're listening, buckle up. You might get a little confused, but maybe too, will we, since we do have a lot of similarities and if you're watching, we're all having like a little bit of a different look. Yeah. Maybe it would be funny or cute to share like what, like what's your go-to look mm. and what's one of your favorite mm. products. And it has to be yucca fruit. <laughs> or, only. or yucca, okay. only. whichever, <laughs> however they're saying it, yucca or yucca, and we'll remind you on okay. the prompts. Um, oh, my go-to looks: black, just pretty much anything black. Lens is a city girl. <laughs> <laughs> black jeans, black dress, black shirt, black t-shirt, black pants, black sweater. That's my go-to. <laughs> love it. Love and it. she's in and a it. black jean and a black long I sleeve. I, I, I incorporated a little color. But I love the blazer. Well, oh, you're considering white little tooth little houndstooth. <laughs> okay. How little tooth pattern. pattern. <laughs> she's considering that to be color. We love that for you. Um, um, <laughs> oh, my favorite Yucca product. I like the Native Body Wash. Native mm. Body Washes. And you can get it in like a mostly cardboard. It has like only a plastic lid. Oh, oh so yeah. It's like a nice. I don't okay. know. I like body washes, okay. but I don't love the plastic. And that's a good price. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can yeah. grab it at your local Walgreens. Yeah. Yep, Walgreens. Dwayne Reed. Target. Yeah. Oh, me. Um, What's my go-to? My go-to is definitely a blazer. I have on a blazer today. My go-to is also these pants that Stacey made all of us buy. Um, <laughs> Everyone stole my look, the, but it's fine. They're literally, though, <laughs> like... They feel like you don't have pants on. We've talked about this before mm-hmm. on the pod, and I wear them all the time. Yeah, you'll see us in them all the time. But the Gap, um, they are under the athleisure section. Yeah, I don't even... But um, anyway, they're loose at the bottom with a, with a drawstring. Super baggy, because I love loose and baggy menswear. I loved it before. It was cool. So everybody... The, <laughs> she started the trend. <laughs> Definitely did. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Lindsay just laughing over here, <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> um, and love everything vintage, which I also have this bulky grandpa sweater underneath i was gonna say bill cosby but then i remember he was canceled Oof. um yeah. sicko um <laughs> and, <laughs> and jewels i love to um yeah i love to put the put jewelry on lots of layering lots of layering lots of, layering, lots of patterns multiple She's vintage a lot, like, of, a lot of pattern jinxie and i i you know yeah my yeah it's more pattern more color more pops just saying the difference between oh black and then your pop of white. <laughs> Love that. Maybe just for ease of people following. Kiki, why don't you go next? Age order. Um, I guess I'm kind of wearing one of my go-to looks. These, you know, again, a gap pant, a dark. I used to be a dark denim gap skinny jeans. Obviously, those are kind of out. And also, my style got discontinued. <laughs> um, oh, so classic. <laughs> um, yeah, and probably a black top. Um, I'm really into an oversized shirt or a jacket. Jinx didn't say she does a denim, but she throws in denim. So I feel like it's very similar. I'm also mm-hmm. trying to work back into my business looks lately. So, you know, love that. I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Love it. And what's one of your go-to products that has to be a clean girl product? Um, probably the district batch Ooh, deodorant. Love local. Shop um, local. Shop local. local woman owned. Ooh, today's made Saturday. In small batches in Washington, D.C. Um, I don't believe it's actually on Yucca yet, but trust me, it is all clean. Very, very clean. Love that. And I didn't mean to speak over you, but today is Small Business Saturday. But when we're recording this to people listening, obviously it's too late. every weekend is Small Business Saturday. <laughs> so it's the holiday season. Get off of Amazon and go local. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, I forgot to do my my Yucca product. That's okay, sweetie. We'll go. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. But I product. just wanted to share with the listeners. Um, so... I'm all peach slices all the time, but I've told you all that before. But my new thing 
shea moisture's raw organic mm. shea butter plus Woo! one. Ooh, I've been using it on this forehead, girls. You would have thought I got toxed. Is yeah. it not? She actually, yeah, had when we were at Dear <laughs> Media. Yeah. Um, Lauren yeah. Bosworth actually looked Bostic. at her. Bostic. Yeah. Did I say Bosworth? Yeah. Oh my God, low Bosworth. Low from Bosworth from the hills. Lauren Bostick actually looks at Morgan like six inches away from her forehead and goes, great skin. Yeah. Then she turns to me and I want to just say PCOS. <laughs> you know? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, girl. Yeah, but she's like, oh, hey, you. <laughs> I said to Stacey me after I go, did you hear that? She goes, yes. I, I said, yeah. Lauren Bostick is saying that you've got great skin. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. And it's, she looked at me and I'm like, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so you're natural. just putting the <laughs> shade on <laughs> everywhere? You're putting it on? I actually do put on it. So I put it heavier on the forehead that's for me my dryer where I get my lines and I make sure to put it up so it's an anti-inflammatory so that's why I looked it up I didn't have the other thing that I've told everyone on the pot is that I use just a big old aloe leaf from the grocery store cut a slice off at night squeeze out the aloe I rub that all over my face I literally do the shea moisture first and then I put the aloe over top so it locks it in and it is crazy especially because of like with my psoriasis and everything like I'm a dry skin person and this winter, I have not yet had. Yeah, the aloe is insane. One of yeah. our relatives told me that, and her skin looks freaking perfect. Yeah. And she's like 50. You would think she's like skin of a 25-year-old. Yeah, year old. and both of those Puts things. Puts it on every night. Anti- she's like, I've been doing it for 25 years. Yeah. So I did it religiously. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, truthfully. No, I really do. Acne, like the first couple weeks I did it, it, it really did make a difference. No, it does. I mean, it is an anti-inflammatory. So that was the thing. And I was like, well, let me, I didn't have my aloe with me for a couple of days. We're actually in New York for Dermedia. And I was like, oh, let me try. And I Googled the shea moisture. And then I was like, well, this is a raw and organic. Or, I mean, I Googled just the um, shea butter being, can you put it on your face? Can you put it on your and it was like, yeah, it's anti-inflammatory. And I said, this $10 big old bucket of butter. <laughs> and I was buying, you know what I mean? Yeah. So and yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. it's great. Um, and then this Stacey, I'll go next. Uh, my look, I'm a cozy girl. I would say I'm sporty chic is tends to be my look because I like to be comfortable. Yeah. But like, you know, I always can do a V-neck tee, a comfortable sweater, like a grandpa sweater, or even this. It's like an off the shoulder Got it at Thrift, French Connection. We're Seven big dollars thrifter. is better than yeah. 70. Yeah, we're big thrifter. And um, Abercrombie jeans, because everybody knows for millennial girlies, Abercrombie made a comeback and they have a curvy line. So yeah. if you actually have hips or an ass, that's my go-to. Yeah, this is uh, this look you're wearing is very you to a yeah. tee. It's the color it's palette comfort. too. And then yeah, the, the color turquoise. Palette. I like an earth tones yeah. and my browns, white. I, yeah. I, mean, I always wear black, but like, you know. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I feel calm. You and I float more to the earth. I, I obviously were whatever, but I would say on a day to day, more earth tones where I think Kiki, Kiki and Jinx, Jinx definitely are definitely go. more. And Mimi does. And Mimi's on a pop of color. On a pop like, of color. Let's get to but my yeah. yucca yeah, yeah. or my clean girl product. I've got to say, I've got it right behind me is never fail aqua four. It's mm. the time of year. It's freaking, you know, it's cold out. Yeah, my lips are so out, Jinx. Go ahead. It's the lip balm though. Not just any aqua four. That's right. Yeah, but I have the no, but that's for lip repair. Yeah, no, Lindsay's just for the for the listener. She's clarifying. Yeah. It's the lip repair lip balm. It's yeah. not the butter. It's not the tub, right? Not the tub. No, the, the tub. tub is terrible. It's like pour on yucca. Stick. Yeah, stick. you've got to have the lip repair one. Yeah, In the tube. and don't get the one that's the lip repair with SPF. That's not the one you need to be using. It's bad. But yeah, I love Aquaphor. Needed it, and it saved my ass when I was on Accutane. Because woo, if you know, you know. Um, Mimi. I was like, which mic do I take? <laughs> your, your <dick> mic. <laughs> um, what were the questions again? What is your look? What's your like, what are you wearing now? And what's your go-to look? Well, right now I'm wearing pleather pants from Forever 21. Okay. And a custom top from the Ivory Coast. Ooh, and okay, um, custom, custom girl. Sure. <laughs> Tante Claudia gave it to me. Um, it's Meta's aunt. And my fiance. We <laughs> 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 haven't sent that yet on the pod. I thought you had. No, we don't have to be visionary. Oh. We want to be the ones well, to announce it to the world. world. Mimi, our two million listeners. <laughs> <laughs> two million. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and my go-to look just depends on where I'm going. Like if I'm going to class, I 
wear sweatpants and like a crew neck, like a comfy crew neck. But if I'm, you know, I have a family photo shoot, then I'm going to go full out. But, and then my go-to yucca is that aquaphor. Mm. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. The, lip that, the same lip repair that you talked about. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Well, and it's funny too, because we all have like a little bit of a different look, but like, honestly, even, um, little diva, Kiki's daughter, um, was, they were staying at my house last night because of Thanksgiving and she actually went up into my office today and she goes, why do you and my mom have all the same stuff? (laughs) And she was saying this, I mean, there was some stuff out that was like photos and you know, that obviously she's, we're going to have the same family photos and things, but it was my sweaters. And so there were some of them that she was looking and she said to me this morning when I got up, I put on a sweatshirt and she's like, you look like Auntie Mimi. And then I put on sweatpants and she's like, now you look like, really look like Auntie Mimi. (laughs) (laughs) But it was funny too, because I was wearing like a sweatshirt from high school. So it said like our high school name on it, you know, and I was dying. But yeah, so we like, you could probably shop in each other's closets, but everybody has more of their go-to. Oh, a million percent. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you probably heard, too, well, when Morgan and I say at the end of every pod or randomly, we're always like, divas. And if you knew us before this, we would always say divas. Even working in, the best was in <laughs> twenty the 2012 era. Um, I worked at a startup in D.C. and we had some overlaps of just, friend, you know, small circles, right? And so some of Morgan's former coworkers then worked in my office. And we had this thing where there were TV screens all around the office and you could kind of, it was like, um, what do you call it when it's like a word cloud? Like, a cloud like kind source. of like with Twitter. Yeah. 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 When back when hashtags first started. Yeah. When hashtags yeah. first started, when people would try to like, so we would have like trends on the office monitors. <laughs> we would always, people on my team and we were like a team of like, there was like 25 of us, 20 somethings. And because they knew I was around my sisters a lot with happy hours and things and be like diva or I'd be like, okay, diva, like just saying to other girls and some people would be like, oh my gosh, you and your divas. But one friend in particular, Andy, Andy. I'll just say it. Yeah. Andy would always be like getting divas trending and diva. we would all do it on our team. <laughs> Rachel team we'd be like hashtag divas, divas, divas. I Try to get divas to this. be the biggest word on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but it was always like. Well, the origin. Do you want to tell the origin? Oh, my God. Well, the origin was just that Fresh Prince, you know, we were kids and the sisters on Fresh Prince would when they'd see each other and they'd all be together back in the same in the same yeah, place. Wills, adults, aunt, Wills, aunt, 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 yeah, they would scream. And just like oh, there are, so no, sorry, Brad. Brad. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> um, but yeah, they'd look at each other and just scream, you know, divas and jump and freak out and you know yada yada that's us yeah yeah so then divas just kind of became like also just addressing people like hey diva like hey, diva. if you were like one of the girlfriends in the crew or yeah. one but of the gays in the has, crew it also totally become gender makes, nude it, it also makes a statement like but if you're in the bar and one of us was walking in and you yelled diva well yeah it was and it was, it was also moment. like yeah. in college ish college or like early career when Beyonce had the song, um, oh, with, I'm a, a diva, that one. Yeah, it was like, sh- and also like, she ain't no diva, yeah. you know, yeah. um, War, <laughs> who's obviously a, a clo- <laughs> you hear his name on the Bible, a close friend of all of ours. He, I remember specifically one night, I think we were going back roading, but he was like, she ain't no diva in the car. And I'm like, oh my God, so funny. Like he was just started saying diva too, but on his own, not oh. knowing that the sisters have like a diva thing. So then we just I amped it up. That. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he would also do diva 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 She ain't no diva. Um, but yeah, so just had to get the little tidbits. People are probably like, why are they saying divas diffs? We're not trying to make divas our term. It already was. <laughs> <laughs> it's been trending. Yeah, yeah. But, diffs, um, catch up. <laughs> you know, I think it would be funny, or we talked about where we gave the little intro of who's who. Age order. Age order. What's your nickname? State your name. I and Morgan knows this has been a topic on the list since we started, you know, doing our brainstorms of topics before we launched the pod. I have said over and over again, we need to do birth order. Yeah. And Morgan's always like, Stacey's obsessed with birth order. You are. I am so so intrigued by it because I really do think I have a knack for when I meet someone. If they tell me like, oh, I have, you know, four siblings or three siblings. I'm always like, 
I bet I can guess. And I have done it with a CEO of a company I've worked for. And he was like, how'd you know that? I'm like, because you're successful. You'd like to be in control of things. Da, 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 da. I'm like, you're the oldest male. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> and other like friends I've met, I'm like, you're funny. Even with Joe's siblings, because Joe's one of five. I'm like, mm. Fourth and I are simpatico. Like he's funny. He's one of the center of attention. <laughs> he's fighting for it, kind of a thing. But um, I would say you hear a lot of like stereotypical, especially like online, you'll see like mm. the oldest daughter, you know, there's that big trend. Yes. I would love to hear from you, Jinx. Oh my God. Starting She's with you. Nervous. What do you think is one of the most like, even if it's stereotype, but like oldest daughter birth order things that you identify with. Oh, um, I think, I mean, obviously you do everything first, but like it, it always kind of feels like final decisions come to me or everybody comes to me with like, here's what do you think? And I'm supposed to weigh in in a way that's like helpful to make the decision. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. What would um, be like an example of that? Oh, God. If you have one. I would say that's pressure. No, just like. Because <laughs> I, I like I'm thinking ones in my head where I'm like, oh, yeah. Where I'm like, oh, that sucks to be jinx. <laughs> like, you know, well, like you like, said, like, oh, my God. Um, yeah, you're applying like, for jobs. You know, I'm under jobs. I'd be like, hey, jinx, uh, got to write a cover letter. Hate this oh, yeah, part. That's a great Help example. me out here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I have my folder of cover letters that I refer to yeah in college papers i definitely turned in one of jinx's papers in college <laughs> <laughs> so did i i swear to god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I, no, 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 no exactly no, plagiarization no, 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 it's basically my words you have to, when you up you turn your stuff in online mm -hmm. and it puts it through a software you can't do that anymore because you you turn your stuff in online mm -hmm. and it puts it through a software mm -hmm. and if it matches a certain amount of stuff it'll like like a certain percentage, if it's above a certain percentage, then it flags it as being plagiarized. But if it was not written but in say it was a, where it went online, you're good. And say it was a different school. But you're no. saying it's, an, it's like a okay. software. Yeah, I think it's, like it's database. Board, like so you're saying oh. for oh. now, you're saying if we yeah, all you lived. Now, you would have been screwed. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have ever done that. I would never done that. Right. I didn't have right, ChatGPT when I was in college. I'm kidding. Or no, saying, saying now. you could have used ChatGPT. Yeah. Well, I can yeah. say I never used one of your papers for college. No, no, no. And I was a journalism major, so that says a lot. But I definitely use Kiki's for, well, I for photojournalism class. I definitely I had Kiki yeah. shoot for me. I was like, oh, oh, absolutely. I have to do this photojournalism class. It's low on my list of stuff. I have to write all these papers. And I'm like, can you go shoot at this lacrosse game? Yeah, and, and I did. And you know what? It was the best. My teacher before basically was like, this is BS. You're not, you know, this is bullshit. Like you didn't spend time on this for another assignment. I handed that in and I walked into class that day and I'm like, ooh, it was the front screen. And she's like, the feedback today, we're going to go over this one. This was what we needed. Like, was like saying my photo was the critique. I and I said, Kiki, we did well. I said, Kiki, we did well. We did well. We did well. Um, but yeah, no, no, I feel that jinx. Not like I feel that because I'm fourth, but like, yeah, yeah. And I'll go in first. Yeah, totally. And people come to me for advice, but not like they're going to follow it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's everybody. In life, yeah. I think. You're yeah. like, I want your help, but no. <laughs> but yeah, but at the end of the day, if you fucking judge me, if I don't take it, I was it, just fuck hoping you. you were on the same page as me. Yeah. Right. If it's not on the same page, I'm not going to take your advice. Yeah. Then, <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but then, you know, with that then. Yeah. But no, I, I mean, I was the first to do everything. I did. I had to do stuff by myself. Like the whole like trailblazer thing. That's real. Yeah. yeah. And totally. a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. totally. But, um, yeah, that's the, those are the, that's the big one. Yeah, you were the mold and mom was, and dad were making for us to follow. Yeah. And they weren't sh like the expectations I feel like were, <laughs> I was going to say they had higher expectations the first time around, maybe a little bit. And then, well, it depends on who you are, Jinx, because you set the bar like, and then mom was like, well, your sister did this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Right. Why do you have a B in biology, Stacey? Right. I was, I was like pumped I had a B. And she's like, your sister's never had a B in biology. And I was like, That's mom, are you joking? Crazy. I'm not a science girl. Well, she also lied because I definitely would have. I, I, I that was, was high school. Then in, then in school, college, mom was celebrating with me that I got a D that I, I was not getting a B in right. because okay, I, if I got a B in high school biology. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Never got a D. 
That was not my thing. Maybe so she blacked she out. She might have. Maybe Mimi maybe. was like a baby then, so maybe mom was like, "Oh yeah, mom Morgan's, was like anything." She's thriving. Yeah, maybe maybe I got to be. Did you go to I school? Don't know. I just was like science, math. Like, how do I get? Th- I probably had a great partner or something. Oh I yeah, be. probably cheated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't <laughs> cheat. No, no cheating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably like Jinxie, help me. Yeah, I need all your lab. You were good at biology. Maybe maybe you did do my homework. I don't I don't know. <laughs> maybe you did. I don't remember. <laughs> I just handed you my notebook from previous year that's possible um a hundred percent positive that so, oh, really yeah. Yeah. i mean that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's i mean i use kiki's test and co- well it was for stuff where we had to take gen ed you know required classes that you're like okay <laughs> i love these. i am never going to take anthropology i'm not going to do it no. this is a waste of my freaking time and not an easy class by the way no it's not and so when it it's came a lot to more than what up. you think it's going to be those classes yeah. Kiki sat with her that course catalog and she's like, no, pick anthropology. And I'm like, uh, and she's like, trust me and get this professor. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, he uses the same tests. And I'm not going to lie. I grabbed them. Tests. <laughs> yep. Grab and she was the, like, just don't do it perfect. Like, you know, don't do every answer perfect. I was like so nervous the first test to like, you know, oh be God. using it. Because actually the first test I attempted on my own and I was like, holy shit. Like the whole class basically failed. It was hard. No, but mom, I, that's mom and dad, said, these are hypothetical situations. I told you, just take these tests. <laughs> <laughs> just, Look at me. And it wasn't just me. I think the teacher just knew it. He didn't care. He's an older dude. Like how you have to know people are just, just passing your tests around. You either when have there's to a know row or you just don't care. In the back of your class. You know. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, but that's I what it was. then would just mix them up and be like, okay, A, C, get this one wrong, get this one wrong, get this one wrong. And thank God. I'm dying. Mm, college. But, but anyway, but more, what about you with your birth order being second? Well, I mean, that's already. I mean, <sighs> well, I also feel like feel free to chime in because okay. Stacy has so studied this that like I'm always just like it's like the ADHD episode I'm like oh my god talking like out of turn and weird is like an ADHD thing I don't know I just we're like, helping her get to know herself but I am so, bossy right I, I am, like to say you're you're assertive I'm assertive. assertive I'm a delegator um project manager project manager yeah the delegator delegator that is your yeah. second yeah. for sure yeah yeah. And I think a, a quick, can I give a little anecdote? Sure, go Kiki ahead. Chime in. Um, high school. I was a freshman, <laughs> Stacy. when, when I was a freshman, Morgan was a senior, Kiki was a sophomore. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so it was the great thing was, yeah, we're all going to school together, but Morgan drove us. So I never rode the school bus. Sorry, Jinx. Sorry, Mimi. Mm-hmm. You know, it's Must okay. Be nice. Yeah. yeah. First and last had to. Spoiled. Well well you say that but then also my best friend james lived down the street and so he really lucked out because he was the oldest and he morgan was, picked him up every day for he was school. the oldest and he was a boy and he was picked up by a senior every day yeah female rolling in there and picked him up and you know what were we blaring I mean, oh, he would got song of the week. Just whatever song he of the week. James would also. That was part of his contribution. He would burn CDs. That's right. <laughs> Everyone he had, had that. Oh my god, connection. He'd be if up he there. wanted to get picked up, in the and morning. he had a CD burner. Bring your CD. Right, he had a CD burner. Yeah, just like okay, that's you. true. That was part of his delegation. Bring your CD because everybody it was like, okay, if you're gonna get picked up, you're gonna contribute. Yeah, and I never did that. Oh, um. I just offered my services. <laughs> yeah, but Lindsay was like, mm-hmm. I'm picking up six kids in a four-seater car. Yeah. <laughs> no, just Morgan's like, I'm learned- picking you up at 742. Yeah. She wouldn't even let James <laughs> be in the back around the house. She made him stand in a, at a door they don't use, like the front vestibule. Because yeah. she's like, I'm going around the circle so we can just go out. Yep. And so he had the song of the week. Yep. But Kiki and I would pack her lunch. I would wake her up. Morgan has never used an alarm clock until she moved out of the house for sure. Yeah. That was part of it. If I didn't wake her up, I had to shower first and then wake her up, make sure <laughs> breakfast was packed, tears. breakfast, lunch packed, and I would warm up the car. <laughs> Mara just yeah. goes, what? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They woke your ass this up every story. morning. Yeah. Well, dad, yes. dad would start and then it would, he would wake me up a couple of times and then Kiki would be the final to get me up. And yeah, even now. I have alarms set in case for some reason I fall back to sleep after Joe wakes me up and he leaves for work. But yeah, same. 
I, dad woke you up in the morning in high absolutely. school? Absolutely. Yeah. He yeah. loved me and he wow. would say, come on more, come on. It depended it was, on the time of the year though, because dad's okay. schedule would fluctuate yeah. based off of winter or summer. So when he left really early, he didn't do it. It was totally on me. Yeah. Mimi, ask, ask me who woke me up for um, school. Ask me. Mimi's <laughs> crying. You no, had like a kidding. family dollar alarm clock. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would hear you like, like, turn that fucking thing off. I was on crutches. I was on crutches and I had to catch the bus in the so morning did. down the hill of our driveway. No, right. wait. Let Lynn's go with this. <laughs> Let her give this. This is such a similarity first and fifth. Yeah. My freshman year. First day of school. For, wait, what was the you don't remember school? your first day of school you were on crutches you had sprained your ankle oh i sprained it during like Soccer. The Soccer. 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 summer so you were waiting for the bus oh yeah waiting for the bus in an air cast in crutches <laughs> first day of school, first day of school. <laughs> new school early as hell yeah new morning. school it was dark out i don't know yeah and the, like and mom got your picture mom. by the driveway she's got yep. you know, not a baby on her hip yet no not yet no that happened Two years. yeah Two years later, 16. Two years later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like, have a great day. Good luck. As she got on the bus, I their crutches on the And it bus. was dark oh, out. You got on the bus, yeah, like, the bus. seriously. Have you, ever, have you ever done school bus stop <laughs> steps with, like, one foot and a sprained ankle? Yeah. Mimi has. I, I, yeah. I did it for a month. <laughs> Freshman oh my year. God. Yeah. I can't believe mom didn't take you to school. No. She was like, no, I'm not getting up that early. <laughs> because also, Fierce. you're saying that you got picked up, you had to pick James up at like 742. Well, I don't remember actually. Joe was saying this the other day to me that school started. Started at 7 a.m., I think. No, it was 7, I thought it was 755. I'm pretty sure we had to be there at 7.55. We got out at 220. Like you were supposed, so to, you were supposed to start moving yeah. to class, I think, I think was, and then you were supposed to like in and seated 8 at 805. Yeah, right, yeah, we usually got there at 8. Yeah, exactly. No, we literally would get 10, there at 8, run. We had to be there at 725. So when I, and I was one of the first stops on the bus route. So I had to be at the bottom of the driveway by 625 every morning. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, I remember That's they changed lot. the time. No, but yeah. so I, I definitely had the luxury of that. So Morgan would drive Kiki and I in her white, at the time, the neon, which... I, mean, had the, I started out in the blazer. Yeah, that was my freshman year. We were in the blazer. Yeah. But I mean, oh, yeah, my like freshman when, year, we yeah, were in the, the neon. Was, right. we're white in the neon. flash. White flash. Neon. Neon. blazer. And if Morgan, like Kiki said, she would get her up. Dodge. Kiki would shower first, wake up Morgan. I would get it. When I get No, last? I think you were a second, actually. Yeah, I think I we had to were, get in second. And then you would wake her up when I'm like getting in the shower. Yeah, to start the process of getting and her up. And then Morgan would, <laughs> Morgan wouldn't, <laughs> would, Morgan wouldn't make her lunch. <laughs> Morgan wouldn't put her makeup on because Morgan would put her makeup on when she was driving. I remember James and I sitting in the back one day, like, oh my God. And Morgan's like doing blush in the mirror as we're driving down 15 South. You know, this is, a, I don't do this anymore. You guys, no, seriously. but we were like, oh my God. And the, when Morgan would be sick, this is a different Whoever was in the front Kiki seat. Kiki would pack her lunch and put Robitussin in it. Oh yeah. Tussin for sure. Put her Tussin in. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast too, grab our Nutri-Grain bar. So she eat it in the car, first period. And the best was the day we we all were in the same sports, you know, together, you know, JV and varsity. But so certain days, you know, you'd wear, you'd have to do like your dress down days, yeah. dress up days. And then other two, other days that we're just wearing whatever, the one day we walk out to the car and Kiki, Morgan and I are all wearing the exact same outfit. Well, because sometimes Morgan would... Uh, skip first period for whatever reason like especially if she was actually sick sometimes she would come in late so or had a project would pick us up mm -hmm. yeah and take us to school or maybe mom or dad and so you know she wouldn't see us before we left the house and then or this definitely used to happen my freshman year then we would see each other in the hallway maybe be in the exact same outfit well this was a day where she saw us because i remember what she hadn't seen us in the house <laughs> yet and kiki and i both walk out to the car and we're like but it was like we were wearing jeans and like our high school sweat like a hoodie right so <laughs> The jeans were exactly the same. And you know that if you know, they were a low rise gap, <laughs> yep. pocketless on the ass. Oh my God. Yeah. And Morgan walks out and she's like, we look like idiots. We all can't show up wearing the same thing. <laughs> one of you go change. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I, I knew that she was the was story. She was the so last one to roll out. Last one to last get Last one to get ready. Kiki had just made her lunch. We got the breakfast ready. I'm she like, car's oh, warm. down the hill. She probably saw De Kiki's ice. outfit when Kiki was waking her ass. Oh my God. She's like, one of you go change. We look like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I'm like, oh, we're the same thing. Yeah, time to yeah. Change. I know she just said Stacy Mays get these pants. I didn't make it. We get pants. Or it's like, where did you get those pants? And then one bought them in every color. I mean, I have, I have three or four oh, pairs. Oh God. Well, what about you, Kiki? What about me in the middle? Because you're dead um, center. Yeah, you got two before you, yeah. two after. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna say I've got it. You know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> just the independence, like, oh yeah, I can do this. No big deal. I got it. Um, I would probably say that's my biggest, probably middle trait. Oh, I don't know, there's probably something else. Mm-hmm. I think probably. also probably like kind of trying to fly under the radar, especially when it came to school. Like not caring about my grades and mom being like, what? And I would just kind of try to hide it. You know, like you guys would like have so much energy in the evening after school. And I would just be like, oh yeah, she's not going to find out that I didn't do so well on that test. You just- know, Kiki's line, mom be like, how was the whatever test today? Fine. fine. I can just like literally still see you like elementary, middle school, high school. Fine. Mom be like, fine. Okay, Katie, it was fine. She's like, fine, fine. But, that, but it wasn't that you weren't an academic. It's like that you literally would be like, okay, if I try a little bit, I'll get A's. If I don't try at all and I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Kiki would just be like, I'm fine. But I will say your middle child, the independence for sure. And the Kiki's got it. I literally <laughs> never met anyone who was like our age 20 or our age, a single woman 24 was like, I want a power drill for Christmas. <laughs> That's a great gift. Like, you know, when you grow up in a house of women and we, because we said this before, like we were not in the house of like, you know, go find a husband. It was like, we grew up in like a matriarchy home because our dad grew up in matriarchy. It was like women empowerment. Right. And I'll never forget the one time I had called or I had gotten a, this is when I actually had my first job. I got a flat tire like I went to the parking garage after work and I'm like, fuck, I have a flat. I'm like, what am I going to do? And so I called dad. I'm like, I have a flat tire. And he's like, I'm like, I don't know where, like, where do I begin? And mind you, I had experience with a Kiki before. I had seen Kiki jump like 20 people's cars in high school. I still don't know what to do. Same. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> YouTube. She, this I is Google before it. YouTube. Yeah, she's like, oh, I have my jumper cables. I got you. Like literally so many times after high school. So I called dad. I'm like, what am I going to do? And of course I'm like, more John, I'm like, Oh, I'm so pissed. Like, oh, my fucking car is a flat. And he's like, oh, Stacey, do you still have the triple A card? Cause at this point, mom had given me one of her triple A cards and told me <laughs> just tell triple A that you're me and they will show up and, you know, service the car. And so I was like, yeah, he was just called triple A. I was like, well, like, should I try to like get the lug nuts off? He's like, no. And then I get home later and I'm like, would you have given the same advice to Kiki? He's like, probably not. (laughs) (laughs) This was so serious. He's like, probably not. I was like, why? He's like, well, you know. (laughs) Okay, I'll give you a tip on tires. And this is what dad taught me in like high school, I think. It's hard to get the lug nuts off. It is. So you got to put your... um, The... Crowbar? Yeah, the wrench on there. And then you step on it with your leg. Yeah. This one, big, but the sometime trip. now is even harder because they put the guns on. They use the yeah, air that's guns. exactly why you need to use your foot to stomp it to get off because the well, you know, he I didn't know. even try. I was a damsel in damn distress. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Kiki was because Kiki and I went to college together, and like that's what we were talking about the last episode, our vanilla ice experience of like oh, we would lie and say we were twins. Yeah, I mean, I, it wasn't even really lying. We were just going with it. Like, yeah, he said we were twins. We didn't tell him that. Yeah, people would ask, yeah. "Are you twins?" We'd be like, "Yeah," because they get us drinks and stuff. But in college, like I really, it was totally different experience. I had a sister there with me who was already well turned. I would say, <laughs> yeah, Kiki was there for my social scene. <laughs> Never forget freshman year, first week of school. I'm like, I got all my books. I'm like freaking out about how much reading I have to do. And I'm in my dorm. <laughs> Kiki comes over after eating one night. She's like, hey, what's up? And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I have like a psych test. You know, I have all this reading to do. And she's like, why are you, why did you buy your psych book? Oh, <laughs> I did. What? She's like, you're reading that? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you like, have so much, I'm highlighting, I'm making fucking flashcards. You know, I'm panicked. Oh, I was like, just go to class. <laughs> He's like, just go and get credit. Like you got, like you get attendance credit. And then just like the tests aren't just that Just listen hard. to them. Just listen to what they're saying. And then you'll be good. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. God. I'm dead. No, I, I, well, anything else, Kiki, with the third? No, I don't think so. I think those are the main. No, but who who was it? Jenks, the um, the comedian 
oh, I'm blanking the one late night host stand up. Oh, Seth Meyers. Yeah. That's it's my favorite. Yeah. Little stand up. How the middle child basically you have the oldest, the youngest, and they're like, oh, what often the middle child is just like at, by the time they're two, they're like, what do you want for breakfast? I'll make you the smoothie. Can I get you anything? Do you need coffee? And it's just right yeah. around the house. Running the house. Yeah. 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 Like, like oh, running the, the house. Child, like yeah. making us espressos and asking us we want you lattes. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's Kiki. She's our doer. Like, I've got it. You know, Kiki, like taking his out of your hands. Like, let me cut that. That's good. I got it. Can I get you anything? Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I think that moves us on to Stace, our fourth. Yeah. But I will say, Ooh. I'm the fourth, but in our age order. <laughs> I was going to say, what? I was going to say, what do you think about your age order? Exactly. You're just proving your age order. No, no, no. I, well, <laughs> exactly. I'm the star. <laughs> yeah. I have to do it. <laughs> but I was just going to say, in our age order, Mimi's our youngest, but she's our. Our bonus baby, which is like, you know, that's my husband, Joe, is the same. And so I always laugh because I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is so funny. Like just certain things that like their calmness, their observation in a just you probably saw at Thanksgiving, like in a room of chaos. You like look over and Mimi's like, I've got the baby. I'm who needs to be fed. I'm here quiet. You yeah. Know? Chilling. Like, you know how to chill. But um, it's a Mimi and I are closest in age, but it's. 11 years between us, even though you'd be like, what? I thought you guys are both 25. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be Gen Z. All right. Yeah. I, I feel, I love Gen Z. I do feel like I'm a part of, you know, that generation. Love your trip. Um, yeah. I love, love your trip. Love it. You, it's you're cooked. cooking. It's, it's cooking. You're hot. It's hot. cooking. It's crispy. It's so. crispy. The only thing I know is cooked. It's cooked. It's cooked. Oh, no, but I think it's just, it's similar probably in the stuff that you hear of like, it used to be actually, it's funny because mom and dad are the youngest in their homes. And I remember hearing people when we were kids like, oh, Joan's the baby. And I always thought it was so weird. People were calling her the baby. Like, you know, this is me as like an eight-year-old. Like, why are they calling you the baby? And Richard's the baby. And so people would call me the baby, which now, Mimi, mm -hmm. you know, which is funny that I can like relate to that. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking it was so annoying. But when people, when we found out mom was pregnant with Mimi, I remember overhearing a conversation mom was having with one of her friends. And you know when you're like a kid and you're like, wait, they're I'm, talking about me? I'm hearing this and I'm like, y'all think I'm an idiot? And they were like, oh, she's not going to be the baby anymore. <laughs> like, I was literally sick one day. It was like the day after. And I really wasn't, legitimately wasn't feeling well. And she's on the phone with someone and they were like, oh, like, like I'm trying to stay home. Like, oh, she's not the baby anymore. I'm like, I couldn't wait to give up the title because it is weird. People are like, you're the baby. I haven't seen you since you were this big, you know? Well, oh. especially because you being the baby 18 months younger than me, you never wanted to be the fucking baby, right. you know, of right. or older. Right. Of no, but definitely like exactly that with the being that close in age with Kiki, like. <laughs> It was always, Joe says it now. <laughs> Even my coworker said this the other day, your quick reaction to some passive aggressive fucked up shit. <laughs> like your rebuttal of like, you should just do this to them. Or how about you say this? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> A and little he verbal was like, assault, where does maybe? that come from? My coworker said this, and I go, honestly, my husband, the one day was like, I'm scared of some of the reactions. She's like, how about you just tell your coworker this? And, da, da, da. <laughs> and I'm like, I think it's because I was always smaller, slower, not as strong. I mean, Kiki knows this. I could mess up a game like nobody's business. Yep. If I was losing shoots and ladders, the board's going up. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, that's her real housewives not moment, happening. but it was shoots and ladders. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, fuck it. I don't care. Like, it was and, true. you know, you just, you do those little conniving things. But I think it was, I read, um, it was the Ted talk. I'm forgetting the guy. I'll put it in the show notes, this Ted talk on birth order. Mm. And I remember sending it to mom when I was like, see, told you funniest. And it said fourth, fourth born, borns tend to be the funniest oh, because yeah. they have, to, they just observe and they don't have like this way to jump in there and like win. And so you, you observe people. And you're also trying to get attention. So you do like outrageous things to be like seen or like, you know, it's all you have is just to be like, but also I think it's because the older siblings kind of make you like their little, you know, 
Like you guys oh, would, you know. I see it with my nieces and nephews yeah. now. It's saying little things in their ears to get the little ones to say stuff yes. that they know they either aren't supposed to say or they should. If they ask, maybe there's a chance yeah. that that oh, yeah. you know we'll get the thing and or doing the messed up stuff. Oh, doing the messed up stuff or yeah. I do think we used to send you in to get what we wanted. We used to be like, Stacey, you go ask. It depends because then when we were older, it would be Dad. Can we watch? Uh, <laughs> movie. No, no, no. Stacy, you messed it's it up. It'd be movie because it had to be even, It'd so be it was even. syllable wise. Then everyone would say something twice, and we. Sorry, Mimi. Mimi, she, Mimi just got to watch the movie. She, she was not there. Poor baby. It seems I like I'm say, forgotten. She's like, like, you're the fifth, <laughs> and me, you have to say what you you tell people, or what you say to us all the time. The bit. They saved the best for last. No, the bonus no. child. You always say forgotten fit. Oh, I thought I already said that. Forgotten fit. I thought you did too. Yeah. Well, that's okay. No, exactly. Um, I think the hardest part about being the forgotten fifth is the <laughs> fact that <laughs> I'm just gonna you now say that you're she forgotten? has the mic, she's ready to take <laughs> advantage of it. Go ahead, sweetie. You have to follow four people. Like yeah. always. So like when I went, we went to the same school. So like everyone knew who I was like, oh, you're the baby. Yeah. And I'd be yeah. like, I'm not a fucking baby. Um, or and like, and like teachers knew who I was because of my siblings. Like there were expectations in the community. Yeah. There was a lot of expectations. Like, and I pushed myself even further You're because welcome. of that. I feel like mom got really wow. more chill than I ever had. Wow. Maybe that was kind of shots fired right there. No, I'm just kidding. How is that shots fired? I feel like it's a compliment. Like, it's like hard. No, it is. Like, it is. When you come into high school and you have four siblings who have like academic gifts, like athletic gifts, and then you like, you're following the funny one. It's like. I mean, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> she's so turn. She doesn't have a mic, it. so if you didn't hear what Stay <laughs> said, she dead. said. I mean, See? that's hard. Now she knows how that feels. Yeah, no, but that is true. You don't because, have a mic. Like, there's not even five mics. Well, that's that's blame it on Roadcaster. Exactly. But I always forget line. the fifth. No, but it, I feel that too because, like, we were joking with the biology thing. I did always admire with Mimi that yes, tons of pressure. People would always be like, "It's like she has five mics." Which I hated people saying that. That's, that was obnoxious. That was obnoxious. Yeah, I hated it because it was like it's rude to say to us, but it's also making us have. You're trying to give us like a, a role that we didn't ask for and we don't want. She doesn't want us to have. Like mm -hmm. we're siblings. Mm -hmm. And just in the way that like she was and younger. And my dad didn't make us have. No. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, she has four mothers. She has four mothers. But it was also the like same thing. Like we knew the sports we were going to play. The the girls did band. So I had to do band. I was like, I want to do theater. And so I had to do band because that was what was on the docket. But I admired that Mimi did cut you did carve your own path you did make yeah. pivots in there that weren't so you know here's the mold you always have at least four people like giving their opinion whether you want advice. it or not like yeah. and when you're like a kid and you're trying to figure stuff out like you're like well one said this and one said the complete opposite and then you're like well what the hell am i supposed to do now listen like, to kiki <laughs> well you know that's like it's hard and then you also then you we have like this beautiful like friend family so i felt like i had like 20 siblings yeah yeah and so then like they give you advice too which is great and you really benefit from it and you have these like really cool connections but it's also like hard to navigate that path and then like also be like no i'm not doing that like, yeah it has to be harder yeah. too because you were younger because i think the like advice from each other like always happens oh yeah you know for sure yeah well at, what i was i hadn't ever thought of that mimi the way you just phrased it but um i think that's if that that's a lesson too just for folks that sometimes the advice that you receive, if anything, the silver lining of hearing five to 20 different people give you advice and there's such a wide variety is kind of like, well, then just go with your gut because clearly right. there's nothing wrong. Right. You know, yeah. it's the times when everybody's saying like there's a problem or you need to do this one thing that maybe you should be like, oh, let me let me like tune in yeah. there. <laughs> but otherwise it's kind of like, well, then do you. Yeah. 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 And like, like, I have it now, but like when you're younger, like it's harder. Cause like, you don't have that yet. Like, yeah. And the confidence it's, it's, that's to something, back. That's something you develop. Yeah. Or, totally. like, 
oh, like we're gonna go here because you're the young, like you're expect to you're expected to follow. Oh, totally. Mm. Like you don't have the decision. But then at the same time, because I am the bonus, I also had to do things on my own. Like I mm-hmm. was in high school on my own the whole time. Right. Mm-hmm. I was in school by myself the whole time. Like it's yeah. just like a completely different perspective. And then like people also be like, oh, well, like you don't really have siblings. But I'm like, but I do. Like oh it's like God. this whole That's weird. That's so weird. Yeah. It's yeah. so, it's but so you know, funny. But it's you like know, Joe. But you, it's we right. had a first like, date and I and said forth. to Joe, it was a picture of one of his nephews who clearly was closer in age to us than, you know. And I was like, oh, like, were your, was like your mom or dad remarried? And he was like, no. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my, I'm like, I had no idea you had siblings. And I'm like, mm, I literally never saw you. True. I didn't but know he was like, yeah, they were all gone for a long time. Yeah. But the, but to Mimi's point though, people saying, oh, it's like, you don't have siblings. That's a personal, cause not everybody's going to say that to you, you know, like, our friend Cassie would never say that to you, not only because exactly. she is a bonus baby, but she's so close with her siblings that are the exact same age difference as you. And same thing with us. We're so close with you. But that is just a total when people can't have a relationship when there's four years apart, there's like, well, there's no way that and they think it's the age. But, and also they're like, well, there's no scene like you're saying. But that's yeah, what I mean. High school. And it's not like we oh. could go to all her high school games and well, stuff. No, no, we were no. Like, I'm living. saying she's yeah. saying people saying it's oh, like you it's knowing like, she or, does. Or, oh, okay. And yeah. it wasn't a lot of people, but sometimes people do say that. But then they also oh, also like, oh, you're spoiled because you're the youngest. I hate that so much. Like, yeah, that's like, a, a weird assumption. To say. Like, yeah, you can be the oldest and be spoiled or be the middle child and be spoiled. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that's not like how our parents raised us. But also kind of hard not for them to. It's not even spoiling to have a different experience because it's totally different when you're raising one child in your home and again i'm only saying this too because it's literally it's so funny it's so same show one child in your home versus four mouths to feed well and it's i mean my husband's an only child and he says it all the time how he wasn't spoiled and i believe it you know it's not what like people think of like oh you're spoiled so you get everything thing that you want that and more you know yeah right yeah but i will say this Stacey and I definitely made sure you knew what it was like to have a sibling. Oh, <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> I would get hell about it, though. It wasn't always, it would always be like, how yeah. old are you, Stacey? Yeah, and I'm exactly. like, I'm trying to be a sibling. Right. But we did it anyway. We didn't care what Joy was yeah, telling us. Yeah, exactly. we did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Stop antagonizing her. Exactly. Was well, the line. Like, actually. You're fighting with a two-year-old. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, literally. Yeah, we're like, she needs this. Right. Yeah, well, exactly. She needs this. Exactly. What? But it was really interesting, too, because when Mimi was born, there was like a group of friends like in my class at the time, this is when we were like in private school, so we had small classes that they also had a sibling born mm-hmm. and it maybe wasn't the same, well, same age gap with them, obviously, but they had other siblings in between, but it was like this weird, just coincidence that we all then had like a sibling in the mm-hmm. same class, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. There's quite a few people from your class yeah. that I went to our grade school with. Yeah. So it also was like a different, I don't know, different dynamic. There could have been more of a connection with that. Yeah. Yeah. And we, I think we, we were more aware when we were older, like, because again, like me and you saying, we all weren't in the same classes, but we were aware of like, like, (laughs) just like you and like Adam being like these little babies at things where we're like, "Eh, whatever, you know, they need to be around and see Santa too, you know, just like the younger sibling, like bringing them around when, well, it was so much older. Yeah. Yes, it I was mean, around for a well, lot. Well, that's the stuff. I mean, <laughs> when we were going to concerts, uh, concerts at four or in her teens in a bar in DC with twenty yeah, something. That's yeah, that's true. Or bachelorette parties. Bachelorette parties where we're like, use my ID. Some, yeah, and I'm thirty. The yeah. student section at a high school game. I used to yeah. sit in the student section with your friends and watch yeah. you guys play whatever sport. Yes. And they would take care of me. And it was so cute yeah. because you legitimately were like, this is my crew. Yeah, yeah. So these are my club. friends. You started a club. The Chicken Tender Rooster. Oh, the club. Chicken Tender Rooster. Yep. The Chicken Tender Rooster. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, if you know. You're in the club. Somebody <laughs> said that to me recently. So, I, oh my God, I forgot about that. I'm like, yeah. I mean, we had like a scientist basically like co-chair of the club. I forgot that was the name. <laughs> that chicken it was Tender so Roosters. good. The Chicken Tender Roosters. Yeah. 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 yeah, but why? And I will say, that was very years. creative. Well, I was going to say one. It was creative, <laughs> and why is in your years? And I remember maybe there was several boys in that club. It was yeah, mostly it was boys. Mainly that, boys. It was mainly boys. Mm-hmm. And that is exactly how I would have been at four. Yeah, I was going to say, and it was that. very similar to more. Yeah. <laughs> more. Like, my chicken before. tender rooster club would have also been <laughs> only men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> and I would go around and I'd say, do you want to be in my club? <laughs> Literally. Mom was just talking Life about today how we would also... 
it wasn't just us, but mom was talking about how we would always like we would lose Mara a lot. Like Mara would get lost at events. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like it was more like high school events, like literally yeah. if we were at the high school gamer. Yeah. But it wasn't just because we assumed, oh, Lindsay has her, Katie Bob has somebody has her. Or because she also knew our, our friends. friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And she'd be doing her own wandering, so we can't, you know. Yeah, she's like, I'm with the chicken tender roosters. Chicken tender roosters have a meeting out back mm-hmm. underneath <laughs> the bleachers. I'm like, we mean? Okay, no, that sounds wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but birth war. It's, it's just interesting because if you aren't in a family of multiples, you obviously couldn't relate to it. But it's so interesting because not every family is one of the same, but I think in a family where it's all the same gender you know it's like a house of women it becomes more very evident yeah 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 because we also didn't have gender roles he just took on the manual labor (laughs) well and interesting that we called you billy that you were often always played played the boy oh my god yeah i'm just saying i mean from an early age it was funny that we thought we had to have a boy when we played even though we didn't have a boy well it was just when we were doing like a mom and a dad character when we played house (laughs) yeah like yeah oh yeah okay i'll be billy but even yeah. when we like literally doing yard work, I remember like, oh, we're, you know, got to mow the lawn and I'm on the riding mower and dad's over there teaching Kiki how to use the weed whacker. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never taught me either. I was I'm riding like, mower gal. You know, I still have to be like with Joe, like, what do I need to do? You know, or Kiki's like, get out of my way. I got this. <laughs> oh my God. My favorite was when we were having a graduation party. It might even been your like college graduation or something. And there was a snake uh-huh. and everyone was, was like, mine. no, 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 no. And Kiki was like, I got the shovel. And she, she ended that snake. No, it was, it was so funny because I literally said, do. "I'm not going to my party if it's not gone." Yeah, exactly. I wanted to have a real, I wanted to have a rager. You know what I mean? She's I knew like, what I was going to happen if that snake was left. And same when we lifeguard, there was a snake the one day at Cunningham, and we were like, "Hey, fifty six, guard office, guard office, office. office. Yeah. please get Kiki up here to help." Oh my god. No, I don't know. It's funny. I, I was, I am still dying though of just. Stacy being like, yes, an age order episode, and I'm gonna go down the line. No, I'm just saying it's also so perfect that it, you play your role bossy. even in the episode. Well, it's we talk has about to bossy. Take the mic. bossy. That's true. I that's where right. always true. called me bossy as a kid. Mm-hmm. She was like, oh, no, actually, you didn't call me that. You told me later on in life, like, well, you know, when we were younger, so bossy. I'm like, I was bossy. She yeah. did. I, I call you that. Are change. you kidding? She used to say bossy all the time i guess she would say it to me she about would say it to yeah. wow wow <laughs> wow you were, really like that bossy. <laughs> you were bossy and well, i said earlier that i'm bossy but i think it yeah the delegating bossy probably because i was seeing myself in you i think the only buddy on the person on this couch who can say that they weren't bossy was jinx because we used yeah. to yeah, gang no. up on you give her the mic yeah. well i think that's one of the so usually the oldest person is known as like the bossy like yeah the controlling and when people ask me, like, where are you in the order? People are like, oh. Oh, like, at, that's funny. they've met all of you, especially. Yeah. Oh, you're the oldest? Also, because you look so young, your skin. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, that's, that's true. People just look at <laughs> me and they're like, oh, <laughs> you're older than Morgan? I'm like, no, I, I have try not to have problem. any emotional reactions. <laughs> I don't get wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't react. <laughs> I just don't react. Uh, but yeah, the bossy thing is, yeah, it wasn't me. Well, when we were saying that in the cutting hand, well, I don't know if we mentioned it, but Lindsay, even when I was literally, I had a title. Boss lady. The state of Maryland gave me the title. Beach manager. Boss. I was your boss. And, and we called you boss lady. Of it. We you called you boss me, lady. Bring me the schedule and you'd be like, this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> we need these days. I need you to switch us around. And I'd have to like redo the schedule. Because it was manual. It was manual. You know. And sneak it in like after hours because I had to have it in at a certain time. <laughs> but even our daily rotations, we would just tell we're you, like, no, no, we're not doing. No, that. we're not yeah. doing that. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was it wasn't even like as much as it would be like, yeah, we need these days. But it was like that's so stupid. No, like change the schedule. <laughs> and it was interesting when we first, when I first really kind of, I guess, our attention was drawn to it is because we were working with other, you know, kids our age at the yeah. time, and they, especially the dudes, were like, the one time like watching this go down. And they're like, oh my God, do you all just like gang up on her? I'm like, what? 
<laughs> How dare you say we gang up yeah. on her? And they were like, you're just like, no, this is just like is. sisters. Yeah. Like, well, you're well, we just giving her feedback. Yeah, we're giving you know? feedback. And <laughs> no, she's but okay. Jinx is always so sweet. Even one of my friends' husbands the other weekend, I was going to visit them and he was like, oh my God, how's Lindsay? He's like, she is so nice and she's got such a personality. And he's like, I mean, she's really funny. Whatever. I go, oh, I know. He's like, but I mean, just, she's so kind. And I'm like, do you say that about all of us? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty equal. Yeah. Kindness and Oh, no, kindness. 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 Yeah. 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 Thanks for the compliment. Yeah. Yes, James. Yeah. You led the way. You taught us that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely Set a trailblazer. But it, also in that, you could have maybe done a little less. <laughs> because if mom and dad were like, we're teaching you all these things and like, great. And you were just like, you know, I'm a C student. How much easier would that have been for the rest yeah, of us? Yeah, that's true. You know, it's funny. I actually oh. been saying that to Jinx lately, and I've been like making fun. That's a little bit, but I even said it this morning. But when I was up in New York, baby boy, you know, Jinx's son has a little school project, you know, <laughs> and we were talking a, a toddler, right? And <laughs> and it's like make a scarecrow. I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. And baby boy is out with Coos at the time, and so. I'm like, well, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I was just thinking, like, this could be where the this part of the scarecrow goes, and this is for this. And this I was, was going to pre-cut like, things. I was just going to have things ready for him to like, I was like, choose and put on. I think, and it, it, she was like, you know, it's the family project. And I was like, yes, yeah, family. So it's not just like baby boys project. She's like, it's so my project. Well, it's I was a like, reflection I think of me. It's the family project we guys are supposed to, to do together, and baby boy is supposed to lead the making of, you know, the the scarecrow out of paper like and we were dying laughing because like literally i was like dude i think just like let it be like let's just chill and relax do like be together do less i'm here right now like at one point she calls mom they're talking about whatever i was like okay i am actually here i had a whole conversation just the two of them for like 30 minutes we did Oh, after I had been there, mom had been there for like two weeks. I was like, I don't what I'm here now. I no, it, was, it wasn't 30 I minutes. Thought but it was like saying 10. I was like, well, what I would do, go get paper mache. Right. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was like, what, what are you doing my project doing and over there? there? Well, ours was, While you're right, making just, dinner. Right. right. Start like, the paper right. mache. You should have started last week. <laughs> yeah. You should have exactly. started last week. Exactly. Mom was like, you're just doing it now? Yeah. How much time do you have? Oh my God. No. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like wrapping us up with yeah. just like the best part about like being sisters and us, because I will say so many people say <laughs> I, oh, I always wanted a sister. And I do honestly feel bad about it. Like I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, because it is fucking awesome. And I'm well, not saying we are very, cool. I'm not saying. <laughs> cool. I'm not just saying. Yeah. I also know some people that are like, oh, my sister. Oh, totally. That's what I was going to say. And I'm not saying I every. Mean, occasionally. Sisters. Yeah, we're great. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Okay, just edit crop her from here. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's obviously not every sister relationship is the same. But um, it is. We're very, very lucky to have each other. And. We're just like this. Yeah, well, it's like we talk about. We have a sound, automatic sounding, sounding board, board, automatic cheering section, yeah. automatic like it doesn't like especially now that we're source. out of college. Well, like Mimi's like you know out of like undergrad. undergrad what did you say undergrad? I'm not second. Yeah, whatever. But I mean, like you're 26, like you're an adult, not like I'm you know going through these yeah. first rounds, like living on my own where. You also just give less fucks right. about, mm. I don't care whatever people think. I've got yeah. my crew. You know, yeah. you always have a crew. And like you were saying earlier, then we also benefit from the close friendships each other have made that are now our collective friends. You yeah. know, where we have this like, you know, come for me, I dare you. <laughs> you don't want to mess mm. with us. I am talking to the camera. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. But the, that's very true. Yeah. There, yeah. That we would always have, like, you knew if, if you're messing with one, you're messing with all. But um, I'm about to show up. Yeah. Kiki's rolling. Yeah. I mean, there's stories of times where I was like, um, excuse me, you just came to the house at my party and I heard you said what about my sister? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Get your shit and leave. Get you your can shit get leave. out. You can get out. You, yeah. You can get out. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely kick people out of the house before. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'd do it again. 
<laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> well, on that note, yeah. I just want to say, Divas, thanks for joining us on Divs. Yeah. yeah. I love you guys. I love, I love you guys. Us. And happy should we, holidays. Should we do our thing where we don't have to say anything and just be like... Yeah, I was gonna say that's the other. Yeah, just sign off. The, yeah, the, the silent. You know, yeah, silent. Uh-huh. Like, we uh-huh. good. Uh-huh. We good. Or actually, we should just say divas, 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 divas. 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 Have a great week, divas. y'all. Divas, Jeffs, Jeffs. Divas.